let's solve this example and this question it came in the gate exam of 2021 consider the following instruction sequence so this is that instruction sequence that is they are referring to where registers r1 r2 and r3 they are general purpose and memory x it denotes the content at memory location x that means if they are writing m of x it means what the contents of memory location x assume that content of memory location 5000 is 10 so here i have drawn the memory over here and there are the various addresses so here is memory location 5000 and we are having a value 10 over here content of register r3 is 3000 so here is the processor which is having the general purpose registers and r1 r2 r3 are shown over here and in R3, you can see that we have the content 3000. The content of each of the memory locations from 3000 to 3010 is 50. So, in the memory over here, the contents of memory locations from 3000, 3001, 3002 and so on up till 3010, all the contents are 50. The instruction sequence starts from the memory location 1000. That means this instruction sequence that we are having, it is starting from this memory location 1000. So over here at memory, this instruction over here at address 1000 is actually move R1, 5000 and so on. Okay. All the numbers are in decimal format. Assume that the memory is byte addressable. So after the execution of the program, the content of memory location 3010. So what will be the content of memory location 3010 when this program that we are having over here, it finishes its execution. So let's start and see how we can solve this. We know that the first instruction is available at memory address 1000. That, so, if I put the address over here of what is the address of this instruction, it is 1000. This, the size of this instruction is one is 4 bytes. That means the next instruction would be at address 1004. Again, this instruction is of size 4 bytes. So, next instruction is at address 1008. Then the next one is of 2 bytes. So, this will be at 1010, then 4 bytes. So, 1014, 2 bytes again, 1016, 2 bytes, 1018, 2 bytes, 1020. So, this last instruction where the program has the last instruction halt, it is at address 1020. So, let's start solving the program. When the first instruction from address 1000, when it comes to the processor, so this is that instruction that whatever are the contents at, at memory location 5000, they should be put in R1. So when this instruction will be executed, the contents of memory location at 5000, so which is 10, it will be put in R1. So after the execution of this instruction, R1 is now containing value 10. Second instruction says that the, the uh, content of memory location which is available in R3, it should be brought in R2. So what is available in R3? R3 is having this address 3000. So whatever is contained at address 3000 which is this value 50, it should be brought to R2. So R2 is now having 50. Now R1 plus R2 should be put in R2 because it says add R1, R2 and R2 is the destination register as well. So R1 plus R2 is 50 plus 10, 60. So it should be put in R2. So now R2 is having 60. Then next is whatever is in R2 should be put at the memory address contained in R3. So in R3 the memory address is 3000. So whatever is in R2 that is the value 60 it should be put in memory address 3000. So now 3000 is having value 60. Now R3 has to be incremented by 1. 
so r3 will now become 3001 next instru instruction is decrement r1 that means r1 has to be decremented by 1 so r1 will now become 9 next instruction is a branch instruction branch if not 0 to memory address 1004 that means we have to check the last instruction was a an operation on register r1 so we have to check what is the value of r1 and whether it has become 0 or not so as we see r1 is still having a value 9 so since it is not 0 we will go back to 1004 so which is this address and we will start executing the instructions again from here so what it says is that now we have to again get from memory address of r3 into r2 memory address of r3 is now 3001 and 3001 is containing what 50 so now 50 will be brought to r2 again uh, r1 and r2 need to be added and brought into r2 so r2 will now contain 59 which is 50 plus 9 and now r2 contents will be sent to memory address of r3 so memory address in r3 3001 so in 3001 now 59 will be sent back r3 will be incremented so r3 becomes 3002 now it becomes 3002 and r1 has to be decremented so r1 becomes 8 now again uh, since r1 is not 0 again we will go back to address 1004 and this will start executing again so you will see that this loop will run 10 times so 3000 3001 and so 10 times that means 3009 till till 3009 it will keep on happening so 59 then 58 then 57 and so on it will be keep on the memory will keep on updating along with the values in r2 r3 and r1 at the 10th instance this r1 value will become 0 now when we come over here it will it will see that it is already 0 and so it will now not go to address 1004 but will go to the next instruction which is stop so after 10 in uh, running run of this loop from 3000 to 3009 the values in the memory will be updated so what will be the content of memory location 3010 it will still be 50 so the answer for this is 50 so this is how you will work out this particular question